Hey. Hi, Erigibo, Erigibo.com, and today I'm going to present you this photo backpack by Decathlon, the sports shop. Uh, they sent it to me from France, uh, although, well, they have shop in Spain, well, they sent it to me from France, and so I can review it. This is a mixed backpack with the photo space, photo gear space, and clothes space. So we're going to have a look at it, and I'll tell you my impression. So let's start. I've carried this uh, backpack uh, for 12 days. I went to France and uh, Belgium and uh, I took several planes I had to, to wait in the airport, have it on me and walk around all this. And then in Metz and Brussels, I uh, walked about five to six kilometers a day with a backpack, okay? So I can also already give you my first impression before getting into details. Well, surely this uh, bag is thought by people who know about backpacks uh, for uh, trekking and walking around all this honestly this is really comfortable and i think this is uh, really nice and probably this is a problem of many backpack uh, photo backpack makers they make a great thing for uh, carrying gear uh, photo gear but maybe the way to uh, hold it all this is not as good okay but on the other hand you notice that uh, decathlon they're not a uh, expert in photo gear so i will give you my opinion about that part which is the part that we are interested in so let's carry on the capacity is 30 liters for the full bag and then you have a space for uh, camera gear that is 10 liters okay uh, i'll say that the size is 50 centimeters high uh, 28 wide and uh, 23 thick that fits in a plane okay I don't know if it can go over 50 centimeters in a plane. I'm not sure, okay? Or what I can say is that if it was bigger, it is a medium sized uh, bag, I would say. If it was bigger, uh, that would be uh, a problem because you would probably load more things and it would be over the 10 kilo limit, okay? And the camera uh, gear space is 28 by 28 by 16 centimeters, okay? Let's start with the back. Well, uh, here, as you can see, there is like a, a space here, okay? So uh, there is air that, uh, that circulates and that helps not sweat too much. This is really nice, really, really, uh, the foam here is really thick. It really helps uh, to be uh, comfortable. And uh, this, uh, as you can see, they're really, the straps here, they're really good also. It's really nice, really, it doesn't hurt. It's re really comfortable, this part, okay? No problem with that. There are two ways to access your gear. One is uh, the, uh, the outside pockets and one is the back. So we're going to have a look here. If you open on the side, here you, you see the compartment for uh, cameras. If you open here, then you will access your uh, photo gear, okay? So that's good that you have a double access, double, double door, I would say here, if we can call that a door, okay? And because uh, that limits that people uh, pickpocket, I will actually access your gear while you walk or, or you're sitting in a restaurant or whatever. That's good, but a small negative point. Here you have a great zipper that actually you can lock with a padlock. And here you don't have the option for padlock. I think this is the uh, risky part, so it would be good to have the option for padlock, okay? The other option is from top here for the part that, so that was to access your photo gear. And here that would be to access your uh, clothes gear. Here I've got some compartments. I didn't use all of them. You'll see I've got more here, but they give you enough okay to really organize your bag as you want and here at the top you can access here you also have access you will see computer all this we'll have a look at that here you have a pocket with a zipper with a net in there so you can put things so this is really okay this this part okay so most people would put uh, the light part in the uh, the light gear or the light uh, whatever the stuff they're going to get in there in the, the upper part and the heavy part in there okay here you also have a pocket here actually used to put my passport here when I was at the airport after I put it safe but when you have to uh, go to security uh, control uh, several times it's better to have it with quick access okay here on the side on this side you have a pocket here and you have some strap you can and this is where I actually put my uh, tripod here just here and I have the strap to uh, have it uh, really tight on the here everywhere you have some space you can hang things, you know, the Decathlon, they have uh, uh, bottles and things like this, whatever, and saucepan, you could actually uh, hang from here, so re really okay. Here you have, uh, yeah, for the outside, I think that's it. And here underneath you have access 
to so this is protected for light rain okay if it start to have heavy rain then you should get the umbrella i would say or the cap this is really discreet you put it over and you no one sees you okay well there's one reason for this i, I think okay uh when it's raining visibility is a lot down this is hard to see you so if you're walking on a road maybe it's risky so it's good that uh, you are more visible and actually i would say that even if it's not raining if it's uh, sunset or nighttime or sunrise that's a good idea to put the cap on uh, so actually people uh, a car that uh, pass uh, close to you sees actually uh, there's someone in there okay so visibility is important so i think it's good they put it this color orange okay and here and here also you have pockets on the belts okay here and they are padded also so they don't hurt your uh, belly when you when you have it okay and now let's uh, have the general access okay the way to access completely your bag is opening the back okay this is not the most practical but this is the safest i mean when you have a backpack you have to decide what do you want uh, quick access or safe access okay so they've decided on the safe access i open here okay and here on the back you will find several things here you have space for a computer up to 15 inch uh, uh, uh tablets here you have some pockets here you have a strap here many things to organize uh, this here you could hang things or whatever you don't want mm, to lose in there like keys or whatever you, you have you can have it oh yeah i forgot one thing here here you have a side a back here you also have space here when I put my filters and here you can have you have a small pocket in there also with uh, you can uh, put uh, keys here if you want okay so on the outside you have this uh, quick access also let's go back to the inside okay so here you would put computer tablet whatever you want and here you have what is the bag the compartment for your gear open here as you can see the side access that uh, matches the other door i would say okay so here you have uh, two small uh, uh to carry it okay if you open here here you have uh, some uh, velcro pockets here pocket with uh, close by velcro this one no velcro but those two yes okay for batteries you can put there or charger or whatever here also with a zipper i don't tell you how many pockets there are that i think 14 pockets and i don't know how many zippers okay so many okay and here this is the way i had uh, organized it okay uh, obviously i could use the other uh, uh, separation okay to uh, put it different according to decathlon here it fits like uh, one reflex camera with a lens on it and three or four extra lenses i don't know if this fits i'm going to tell you what i had in that bag at my om1 uh, OM system with the 12 to 40 mil, uh, 12 to uh, 40 millimeter 2.8 i had the 8 to 25 millimeter uh, f4 okay then i had uh more uh, had a maker uh, lens uh, fisheye small one a 7.5 millimeter uh, not the size the the, the the focal length okay and then i had a microphone uh a charger for my uh my macbook i had uh, uh, several things a hard, uh, external hard drive uh the mouse uh several things in there okay and also had my uh fujifilm x 100 v okay so i think it fits quite a lot of things okay, okay so uh for me maybe i could have put more things in there i don't know that was packed okay that was full but uh did i need more things well not really actually i think i i brought with me everything i needed but i had a lot of gear i had a computer and tablet so this comes to the main negative point i found out okay uh i don't think the negative point is with the bag i think it's with me okay it is that i had probably around 8 to 12 kilos in gear in there okay so when i put this on okay that was fine i put it here i close it here it was really comfortable no problem on that okay but uh the weight was pulling too much and here uh the straps they would like uh, skid a bit you know like okay slide i don't know you say skid slide i don't know okay so from time to time i had to pull on this actually i met some friends and they asked me 
oh what do you think about the bag i said well the bag is really really comfortable no doubt about that but the weight is pulling back on it and uh, uh the the it, it slips okay so uh, i need to have to, to tighten it from time to time not every five minutes but from time to time you need to tighten it more okay but probably this is not the the fault of this bag okay i think the problem is mainly um, myself who put too much weight in there and this is probably um, a mistake for uh, uh, decathlon but not just them i think any uh, bag maker they always tell you how much space you have in there how much liters how many liters uh, you have but they never really tell you uh, what's the maximum weight you can put in there, okay? Obviously, I should not put more than 10 kilos because on a plane, normally it's limited to 10 kilos. But they didn't check, so I probably had more than that, okay? I think maybe you could put 5 to 8 kilos in there without any uh, problem with the strap, okay? But you need to know that, okay? That uh, if you put too much weight, you will have to pull on this. This bag is not just for photos. Some people will use it as a mixed bag with a your space for a camera here and uh, they can uh, put clothes on the top or some will actually uh, remove the, the compartment the camera compartment or the photo gear compartment and put only clothes in there whatever or mix they will probably leave the compartment and do not put don't put uh, they will not put any photo gear in there but clothes or whatever it is or socks or whatever okay so uh this is a three-in-one bag okay in, in this sense okay well just in case i forget things uh it has uh, 14 pockets six with zipper uh ventilation on on, on the back okay then it's guaranteed 10 years and the fabric is guaranteed 10 years. I don't know if the full bag, but the, the, the fabric at least, okay. And what else, what else? And the weight is 1.65 kilos, okay. 1,650 grams, okay. So that's it. So I must say, the bag is really nice. It's really uh, comfortable. So I think as a medium bag, that's nice. It's really, really comfortable. And the only negative uh, point I see is uh, this, uh, this that the, the strap that would uh, be pulled by the too much weight okay so i think when you actually buy a bag like this you not you should not just check the space but also uh, how much weight you, you are planning to put in there because maybe another bag would be better okay uh, so i don't know but for what i can say if you normally put a camera with a couple of lenses and then your clothes your jumper whatever uh, that's fine, no problem. I think this is uh, okay, this bag is fine, okay? So, uh, could I recommend this bag? Yeah, for, uh, for the price, it's really affordable. Uh, it's 80 euros, I think that's fine, okay? So I think for what, what it gives, if you realize that it's not a bag to carry uh, hundreds of tons of gear, that's fine. Uh, if it is it's made for to go trekking and mix some cam some camera gear and mainly uh, maybe some clothes or jumper or t-shirts or whatever okay so for that that's fine okay so i'm really happy they counted on me to send that i never I never expected it okay because uh, uh, in decathlon france some of the employees actually see my channel it seems so that's why they contacted okay and i hope we will uh, review other gear not photo gear why because there, there, there are many gear that we can buy in decathlon and photographer actually use actually have a kind of cabin to uh, change uh, clothes on the beach or uh, to use as toilets or things i use it for uh, models when they want uh, or when they need to change clothes on the street that's perfect I pull up the the cabin and i use it or uh, also uh, sm uh, some small seats you know you can fold them and use the seat when you're on somewhere and uh, and someone has to need, needs to be have makeup made and they can sit there or uh, also they have a, a wetsuit for uh, photography uh, when you're in the sea or in the river that's great also so i hope we'll be able to uh, cooperate again and uh, review that kind of uh, gear that many photographers use although they are not specific to photography okay so thank you so much to them thank you very much to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel the small button on here is a small bell if you click on the bell you get notified when i upload a new video my website ericgibo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below also leave you links of margie on amazon links of everything reviewed by kf concepts sandmark and the flashes by westcott and also a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation thank you very much please take care of yourself and see you soon bye